A scare in a new upscale San Joaquin County housing development advertised as a safe and serene getaway from the Bay Area. CBS 13 Steve Large is live in River Islands where the holiday season started off with a shooting, Steve. Well, you can see people here really get decked out for the holidays. And even with this show of spirit, though, people have been left questioning if they believe in their neighborhood safety. Decorations and detective work in this River Island community. Holiday lights are taking over sidewalks as police ask the public to help in a shooting case they believe was centered on a love triangle gone wrong. I just heard two shots um, and uh, when I came out, I saw police cars over here. This man, who did not want to be identified, heard the gunshots that pierced through a home here. A bullet hole can still be seen. The neighbor moved his young family here from the Bay Area for the safety of River Islands. Even when I moved to this community, I thought this is like uh, uh, one of the safest community. But uh, um, when this happened and this happened in my neighborhood, it, it's really concerning. It, it is concerning and I think uh, I, I am scared for my baby and for my family. Lakeshore police say the suspect is a minor and was tracked down to Fremont and arrested for attempted murder and shooting into a dwelling. The victim he targeted, also a minor, was not hit. River Islands is a 15,000 home planned community within the city of Lathrop. <laughs> Lathrop just added its own police department in 2022. In its first year, the department reported 321 felony arrests and 78 guns booked. Now this shooting hitting too close to home for one man. Yeah, I am like scared. The suspect caught and cuffed. Police still have questions to help restore a sense of safety during the holidays in this River Islands community. And police are not releasing the suspect's ID because he is a minor. They do say that it was their own city cameras that helped track that suspect down after the shooting.